Hey guys, what's up? It's Finch here. Today we're going to be doing the first ever Scarlet and Violet overuse live on my channel. We got a fresh alt here all the way down to the bottom of the ladder. Hopefully we're going to use this for some more lives, maybe one or two a week here and there. Today we're using a very special Pokemon to me though. It's Espartha. Um, I really feel like it's a really unique Pokemon. Uh, for those of you that don't know it, and I know a lot of you probably won't, it's basically the Pokemon that has a uh, speed boost plus stored power. So I think that's a really cool kind of intrinsic thing built in there. And I'm really excited to get to use it. Let's call for the team real quick here. Um, we were using a hyper offensive build because, you know, we keep it real around here. We got the lead Glamora. I feel like pretty much everyone's using that nowadays. Um, Mortal Spin, of course, really great to remove hazards. And also Toxic Debris makes it so that you're really poisoning a lot of things. Toxic Spikes up. Um, great status control Pokemon. We give it hazard control Pokemon. Just gets the game started the right way. We got some synergistic uh, setup sleepers. We're going old school with Dragon Dance Dragonite. We're going Terra Normal too to bolster Extreme Seeds power into offense. It's really awesome as a revenge killing tool and just help clean out teams later on in game, especially with those hazards up. We got the broken Zero to Hero Palafin Hero Terra Steel Taunt Bulk Up set. It even sets up in the face of would be counters like Amoongus just because with Taunt and Steel Typing, you can't hit it. It's just really impossible to check with Jet Punch being so strong and Drain Punch healing things up. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Espartha here. Um, I think Espartha. Espathra, I'm sorry, Espathra is really cool. I can't even pronounce Pokemon I'm focusing on, oh my goodness. I think Espathra is really cool. I'm bored doing one take, by the way, screw it. Um, I pronounced it wrong, my bad, guys. Um, I think Espathra is really cool. Um, since people use Terra Blast with fighting, personally, I think that, um, I think that leaving it more with uh, Fairy and Dazzling Gleam is really cool. You can therefore resist Sucker Punch and also be immune to Dragon type attacks, which are pretty common right now. Really great in something like a, uh, a Dragapult um, clicking Dragon Darts, for example. And it's it's pretty frail physically. This spread actually lets you do some things. I'm going to go ahead and click my uh, Glamora lead. Um, I'm at, don't leave this guy waiting forever. But we also got a Gold Dango, Troy Scarfer, you know, making it rain. Really, it's impossible to defog into, so it's great with the Glamora lead. I love this synergy. And then uh, a Ghost Resist, you know, another nice breaker here. We got Chen Pao as well. Um, heavy Duty Boost uh, standard set, pretty much. Um, nothing too crazy there. Right off the bat, we got two Glamora leads. I'm um, looking at his team here. I just want to get damage off in this one, get it out of the way. I'm going to click Earth Power, turn one. Um, if I'm slower, then I, I, I am max plus speed. A lot of the ones on the low ladder are running bulky. I'm not too sure why. So I just want to get the damage off first. I think it might be quicker. And I could always uh, get rocks up turn two. So let's just go ahead and get an Earth Power up right off the bat. I'm going to go ahead and click Timer on this guy as well. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't Timer me, but let's Timer him for sure. I'm looking at his team. He's got a low kick to really cool Pokemon. Ditto, good old Ditto, uh, Glamora of his own as we see, Goldango, uh, Cyclozar, and Breloom. So Cyclozar and the Breloom is going to be really cool. Thankfully, I do have the Goldango for the Breloom here. Keep in mind to go Steel typing, the Aegis Slash typing, if you will. And also Dragonite is pretty good in the Breloom as well. So, um, <clears throat> Even the Espathra is good. Yeah, so I'm pretty good into Breloom. The main threat I'm going to have to worry about is probably the Goldango. Um, if it's choice, I do have Chen Pao for the uh, Shadow Ball um, and Dragonite's got multi scale. Uh, switching into Make It Rain is going to be a little tough there. I do have my own Goldango and Palafin though, so that's going to be helpful. Low Kick's probably his biggest threat on his team, but I think it lacks the outright power to threaten me off the bat. Of course, there's also the chance that I end up just talking through this matchup for the next two minutes because he doesn't actually click a move. Why do I feel like that's going to happen? <laughs> oh boy. Wouldn't that be a fun way to start my first live of the generation? And I'm going to make you guys sit here in suspense and find out with me. I'm going to tag my man. I want to play. I want to play, man. Let's go. Let me see if this man's got any games on his all. Oh, he's 0-3. He's been taking... Oh, he's been playing... Some he, he, he had enough. My man had enough of Generation 9. She's like, screw it. I'm playing Gen 1 Ram Battle. And that is where he is the champion, if you look right there. He's 1-0. The man, the myth, uh, the legend, but he is running low on time. He's below half of his timer. He might have just said, screw it, I'm outie. After um, after you see me taking a minute at team preview, that's uh, that's tough. By the way, uh, my avatar, scuba diver, is pretty great. I just want to say, uh, Kyle Dove is the person who created this avatar that's on Pokemon Showdown. My friend, uh, my friend Gmar suggested I use it. I don't know if this is like a well-known avatar or what, but 
it's something that evidently is accessible I didn't know about, but shout out to Kyle Dove. I always love giving artists uh, some love. <laughs> I rhyme there. Um, just because it's really, it's really dope seeing all the amazing art they do, how awesome things look on, on PS, on the forums, and so on and so forth. So they deserve credit. But I know you guys want to see Pokemon, so screw it. My guy's not clicking another game. We're going to go ahead and click that find battle button and get a real game. But I am a champion as far as I'm concerned. I'm 1 0. As you see, the time is running on this one. I'm not even looking at this game. I know I'm leading Lamora. No problem. Lamora, timer, let's go. I am officially a champion. I've retired champion. I'm saving that replay. There's undisputed proof. I am a champion. Espafra is undefeated. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. We got a real opponent here. Anoro Life. Um, Iron Treads is a massive threat to my team right off the bat. Um, so is Iron Bundle. I can play around a little bit. Um, but in Tardix, it does resist priority from Palafin, which isn't great here. Um, another low kicks, which is cool. Alrighty. Um, he's probably just going to break me down my sash. Um, let me just make sure I got Iron Treads. So I can use. Yeah, this is a seal on the upkeep. He's going to bring him on the sash. It does have limited special bolt. I think what I'm going to do is just Earth Power here. No problem. He's going to rock. That's fine. Um, and I think I'm okay trading it for sash. I don't want to play any nonsense games here. He's going to break my. Oh, he's going to go low kicks. Okay, that's interesting here. See, so low kicks, of course, is quicker than I am. But it's going to let me mortal spin, I believe. First impression, it's going to do a million, don't get me wrong. But that's going to leave him poisoned and rocks are off. Wonderful. I'm just going to click rocks off. I, I, I assume he's going to be quicker than me. That might be adamant damage, which is I'd be quicker, actually. Um, that first impression did an awful lot. you got to keep in mind he's got the tinted lens for the resistances. But still, it did a lot for a priority move. So he's going to be adamant. Leech Life is going to take me out, of course. He's going to heal a little bit. He's going to lose some from Life Orb and Poison, though. And I get the second Toxic Spike up there as well. And you can just see Glamora doing what Glamora does. It's a really awesome Pokemon in my eyes. Um, so right off the bat here, I don't see this as a good opportunity for Espothra. But I think it's going to be really helpful for uh, my... I could Dragonite, but I don't want to activate Tinted Lens. I could also go to my Palafin here, but um, it's going to have to switch right out. Um, and I don't want to bait the wrong move here. I'm just going to go Chen Pao. It's the simplest play here. And I think Ice Spinner is safe into pretty much everything. He doesn't have a great switch into this. I Crunch probably kills from this range too. Um, but I think he might go Grim's now, so I'm just going to go Ice Spinner. I'm going to take that out there. Yup. Um, and we're going to go ahead and Iron Treads is going to come in here now. And I'm a little surprised about that. It's leftover, so you know it's slower. Yeah, it doesn't have the item. I'm just going to go ahead and click Ice Spinner once more. Not too sure why I went to that. I guess this is lower on the ladder. And he's going to go ahead and concede. Alrighty. We are 2-0. I've yet to spend out the Pokemon that the video is focused in. So we're going to play until we get a game with my man. But also we're going to play for a little bit. You know, we got 15, 20 minutes. We're chilling. Um, Alright, so we're against like a Sun team here. My guy's got Scale Ridge. The uh, Fire Starter. Again, type from pronunciation is wrong. And also, our Bolova. Um, I'm real. I don't know what that Pokemon does. Um... All right, it's a uh, seed sower. Oh, that's this one. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. See, when this Pokemon's up by attack, you've got the grassy transfer. It, it, it's the summoner, but it also got the harvest in the sun team, which is probably me going with Hatterene. Nice to block rocks. I'm gonna go ahead and lead Glamora anyway. It's pretty solid in this team, and Sludge Bomb is gonna do a fat milli to that Hatterene. It's actually gonna take it out in one. 130 special attack. Glamora is probably a top. 10 OU Pokemon right up the back, guys. De definitely, try definitely try it out. And we're going to click Rocks here. Trick Room, no problem here. Goldango feels pretty free for me into Bronzong. Worst case, it's got like Earthquake or something. Probably can tank one anyway. And um, I can't do anything to it. He is going to Earthquake. Great prediction there on his end. Um, right off the bat, I'm pretty much obligated to switch. I'm going to go to my Palafin just to get it in and out real quick. And I don't think he's going to Earthquake again. But on the off chance he does, do I want to go Dragon? I kind of want to preserve my multi skill here. I am stalling the turns here. I'm going to go back to Chen Pao now. And I get the Torque Ult. That's not a great matchup for me. I'm not going to lie at all. But Glamora is super free in the Torque Ult. I don't want anything he can do here. It will be annoying if he clicks Rocks off because I can't spin into the Bronze Zone. Keep in mind, the spin move is Poison type. He clicks Eruption though, and that does a nice. Nice, 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 65%. I'm just going to click my Earth Power, and if he goes Bronzong and he's Levitate, that's a nice play on his part. I'm going to have to do it. Yeah, this is perfect. So now it's not even going to come with Eruption. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. And it's in Rock's range. Um, 
We're actually going to go ahead and predict him to potentially go out to the bronze zone here as well. Um, seeing as this weakened, that only did... Do I want to... I'm not want to set up. I do want to go to my, my Palafin here. Yeah, and now here what I can do is I can taunt right off the bat. And as you see here, he can't trick room. And now I can set up a bulk up. And now we're going to start going to town with my Palafin here. Um, keep in mind, I believe also has that normal typing. He's going to go ahead and fight out of the Torkoal. It is boots, actually. That's fine with me. We'll just take it out with Jet Punch. That's no problem for me. Um, Skell Ridge, it can be quicker, but I do have the priority. He goes Arboliva. I'm pretty sure it's slower. I can just Drain Punch it. Um, and that is going to take it out. Yeah, and Palafin is doing what Palafin does. While well, he does set that grassy terrain, he's going to need that more for next game than this game as he's also going to concede. So we are 3-0 and and we have yet to send out Espathra. I'm starting to get a little worried, guys. Not going to lie. What if we just never need it? We're already 11 minutes into the video. All right. So we're against Rainbow Water. Cool name. Cool name. Definitely some Pokemon. I haven't seen the most yet. We got the God Ape, of course. Shout out uh, Fire Tauros as well. Um, Oricorio, yeah, not, not the most OU savvy team per se, but definitely some cool options. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave my Glamora, it's been working out so far. And I'm gonna attack off the bat in the Grimms now. I, I, I really want to get the poison, get the damage off. Um, yep, that's fine. It's gonna go ahead and set the tone here. And now he's gonna think I'm gonna attack again, and I can go for rocks. And I don't think he taunts turn two. He's not thunder, but that's fine with me. I get the rocks up, wonderful. Um, I, I think that the move here is just to Sludge Bomb again. I really think he's got a great switch into this that doesn't risk the poison. That's going to be awesome here. He's going to go into Oricario, which is going to match up pretty well into the screens up. Especially after no poison, but his 313 speed isn't awesome here for him. I think Chen Pao can live any one hit. And I'm going to go to it here. He does Quiver Dance up here. I don't love that. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I think Sucker Punch is pretty free. I could also tear out to make sure Sucker Punch kills. I don't really think I need that at this point. I'm just going to go ahead and click the Sucker Punch. It's not going to take it. I probably should have tear it. Is Revelation Hits going to take me out? It is indeed. It's not even Life Orb. That's a little unfortunate. Um, I do have Jet Punch though, and this also gives me a chance to get my Palafin in. So that's probably a good start there. As his Water Resist is only his own Palafin. So it's definitely, definitely looking fine here. Not amazing, but fine. Um, I don't want to get out of the way here. Um, maybe he predicts the uh, Goldango, but I'm just going to go to it anyway, because if he locks into the wrong move, I can go Espathra, finally. So, we're going to go ahead and go to Goldango here. He's going to go ahead and Terra Steel bulk up. Cool play, cool play. Um, hmm. Terra Steel bulk up. He's behind screens. I kind of want to trick it. Yeah, I'm going to trick it. That's fine. So, he's going to get Eevee Light. He can beat up. That's totally fine with uh, me. Um, honestly, I don't mind that at all. Um, <clears throat> didn't really do much. Now, the question is, I, I think I want to, yeah, I want to let go of the Glamora. That's fine. Get the Toxic Spikes up on his side, and it's not even a two kill, which is awesome here. And then I can, I can Earth Power him here, and that'd be awesome. I get the kill here. Um, he's going to get another crits? No, and I do get the Earth Power off, and it actually almost takes him out. That's awesome, so I can Revenge Kill this with Palafin. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and click Sludge Bomb in case he switches out, but I know he's locked, so yeah. Um, this is 317 speed. I do it 334, so I can actually go ahead and I can protect here, and then I can take it out. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do here. So I protect here. Awesome. And now here, um, I guess Gleam's a little stronger. Yeah, it's gonna take it out regardless. That's fine. So I get the two speed boost right there with my Espathra. It's already going to town. I got my full hazards up. Now he goes to Tinkatonk here. And it is boots, so that's not ideal. Fire steel typing also is not ideal here. Um, I don't think I could break this, honestly. I'm gonna go for it anyway, though. I'm just gonna go ahead and click protect right off the bat. He clicks thunder waves. I know that's what his initial plan of attack is. I'm gonna go ahead and click combine here. Thunder wave. I'm still gonna be quicker than it now. Um, my start power is also gonna be 140 with boosters. I'm just gonna go ahead and click start power here. And hopefully get some damage off. It'd be awesome if I don't fully power out. Of course I do. And that's going to do enough to probably took you out. Um, I don't want to risk odds. I'm just going to go for destroy power again. Hopefully I get some nice damage off. You know. Because destroy power is probably now. Oh, he's going to protect. Okay, that's giving me more boost. Now I'm 180 though. And I probably live his Giganton Hammer. So hopefully I don't fully power here. Get some nice damage off on it. 
And yeah, that's going to do 37. That's it's not bad for given the resistances. And I do live the next one. Thanks to his own protect, by the way. Um, yo, do I want to get greedy here and protect again? I'm going to do it. And now I'm up to... Oh, yeah. You, you pack it. You peek at 180. Right. Um, my bad. He's protecting, though. Yeah. That's, I, I gave him free lefties. That was my fault there. Um, but, yeah. I do a nice 36%. So, I, I despite the massive resistance, I do I, I, I can kind of trade a little bit there. Gotta keep minus 315 speed. Um, what's I don't think he's got... I think it's pretty fragile on the physical end, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Um... We're just going to go ahead and go Palafin and, you know, do what the Palafin does. Um, hmm. I'm trying to figure out if I can... I think I should be fine here with Palafin. Oh, it, it doesn't... Ooh, that is a little annoying, actually. Okay. So, you know what? Um, we're just going to bulk up here. Yeah, it's fine. I want to I wanna win this item out right here. Vertex. <sighs> okay, fine. We'll just get punch. I don't want to take damage. I'd rather... I'd rather lock this up because I think that Palafin should win this game. And if not, then Dragonite likely wins the game regardless. But I want to get this yeah, out of the way. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And he goes Palafin of his own here. But he's going to take that poison there. And I'm going to get a bulk up chance here. He doesn't intimidate me. That's fine. I could just jet punch here. And the big thing is with defense boost, I, I can probably just taunt his Palafin. And even if he gets one with the poison, oh, it lives. That's shocking. It lives. But it only does 33 with wild tricks. It's so bulky. So we're in business there. The defense was like in a clutch there. He does go to the uh, Grim Snarl here. Um, do I Terra Steel? I don't think he could really hit me that much, though. So. I'm bulk up again in his face. Yeah, that's fine. And he's going to Parting Shot. I'm going to bulk up again on a Parting Shot. Yeah, no, this is fine. See, I just can't let him win with last Pokemon Palafin, basically. So I'd be nice to not para here. But regardless, the fact that he's not taunt is huge for me. Okay, now I can taunt him. And barring obscene criticals, yeah, Jet Punch does nothing. He's probably choice banded. A lot of them on the ladder are. I'm just going to Drain Punch here. And Palafin is going to do the trick again. A little bit of an assist. A uh, good game from the, uh, the, 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 uh, the Espathra, at least. But it didn't do as much work as you'd like, unfortunately, just because of the matchup there in the Pink Tinka. Um, but that's fine. Alrighty. Oh, boy. The mouse, the mouse, wah, Audino, but there's no Audino, hello, sir, sir, there's no Audino, alright, it's fine. This is the first game we're going to be seeing a Cerulge, which is cool, um, an Iron Bundle also very threatening, we're just going to leave Lamora though, no problem, I think we're fine, I forget other moves the mouse gets, ugh, I don't think it can kill me, but screw it, we're going to get tax fix if we can, so it's no big deal. So we do have, yeah, it's, it's decently, like, natural physical bulky, veteran special. He's going to tidy up. That's fine with me. We're just going to sludge bomb here. Uh, it died in one. All right, cool. Uh, I, I, I'll take it. I really haven't seen anything good from the mouse. It's just been, well, mouse-like. Uh, anyway, we're going to just go ahead and click. Uh, he's going to miss. Oh, that's awesome for us. We're just mortal spin here. Just, just a flex. And, yeah, that was a very helpful miss. So the, the chance of miss on... The Hydro Pump plus the chance of poison, probably like around even, but we'll take it for sure. The big thing here is that, um, right, the hazards were right. I'm stupid. Ah, that's right. I completely forgot about tidy up. Um, the thing here is we're just gonna attack what's right in front of us. It's gonna do nice 73. That's awesome damage. Heavy Slam is gonna also set Toxic Spikes up. That's a very great start. Now, here, um, we should have enough for Jet Punch to still kill it. So we're just gonna do that just to get this in and out. Um, I would be shocked. Yeah, I was gonna say he might go to the the, um, the scream tail, but he, he went to the slitherwing instead. Um, we're gonna go goldango. I think it's pretty safe here, and I don't think it could really do anything here that we could just stop from scaling with shadow ball. Oh, it actually lives. Um, it should be slower though. Let's see another priority move. So we're probably fine here. Um, yep, we're gonna get another shadow ball kill there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way, to everyone in the uh, United States. If you're watching this, I am um, probably going to be uploading this on Thursday. I'm recording it Tuesday night. Another win in there. But, yeah, I'm going to be with my family um, probably when this comes out. So I'm probably trying to upload Thursday morning. We're against Laid Back. He's so laid back. He has an extra K. You know this man is oozing some confidence with that avatar. But we're going to have to go ahead and knock him down a peg with our lead Glamora. On top of his own Glamora. And another Skull Ridge. He's got a opposing Goldango. Another Low Kicks. It's the live of the Low Kicks. Palmont. I'm really excited to see that. And the first Corviknight will be seen. Corviknight is really good into our team here. One of the main Pokemon I identified as a threat because it hard walls Dragonite and it can do pretty well in the Chen Pao as well. 
We do have Trick, we do have Taunt, you know, so we might be okay. Right off the bat, um, again, I think it might be adamant like last time. We're going to go Rocks, U-Turns, Into the Breeze. All the hazards are set up here. He goes Goldango. It's, uh, it's mostly fine with me. I'll have a great switch into it, honestly, though. Um, crap, with Balloon. Is there anything I can do? Hmm. I don't want to risk anything. It's like he could go Steel Move. I'm also just going to stay in here and just... Hope he switches. Oh, he's got a substitute. Oh boy, Houston, we have a problem. Um, mm. We don't really need our own. All right, he goes next, but there's no problem. So yeah, we can go. Uh, we can go Shadow Ball here. That's fine. He's ha so he sub hacks. Uh, that's not a problem here. So we got Chen Pao. Do I really know Chen Pao early? I think I have to. I don't have an I, I don't have a choice. I'm just gonna bait in the Corviknight, which I don't love a lot here. Yes, yeah, so I feel like we're definitely off to a worse start in this game. Uh, we may have we may have met a, a formidable foe. He goes to Lamora. Interesting here. It's gonna soak up the toxic spikes, but at what cost? I do wonder. Um I think my go switches. I'm just gonna ice spinner. I'm just gonna take that out. No problem. We do have the toxic spikes laid out, but we have our own Glamora alive. So it's actually kind of fine with me. I'm expecting the Corv here, not gonna lie. I, I, I kind of hate hard Glamora, can't touch it, but I don't know if there's much we can do. Palmont comes in here, I'm very surprised by that. Um, I'm just gonna Ice Spinner, and that's not gonna do enough with Mach Punch. It doesn't do anything though. I'm gonna soak up the Toxic Spikes now. Um, yeah, I didn't expect that, but it also did so little. I'd like to save this though, just to have something in the back. Um, and we do set the Toxic Spikes now, which is awesome here. And I think he's just going to kill us, so it'll be awesome if he does. Cool, 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 cool. Now here, um, I think we can start with the Spathra. Yeah, so right off the bat, we know he's probably quicker than us because he's also base 105, we're not max speed. We're going to click Protect right now. What's the worst thing he can do? I guess it's go to the Goldengo. I'm hoping he just Tunnel Visions here. Um, what's this base attack again on the Palmont? It's it's only 75, but it does get Iron Fist. Oh, that's the... That's a free... Oh, I, I see what I did. Okay, 115. So it's a little more threatening. So I'm probably not going to want to take an electric move here. Uh, I hope he doesn't go Goldango and he lets me get the kill. He goes Corviknight. Well, wait. We, we can probably... We can probably set up in its face a little bit. We're going to come out here. He's defogging that all the way. We're going to come out again. We're going to get real dangerous real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ripper does nothing. We're going to protect again here. All right. So I think we set here to kill this. Yep. U-turn. No problem. No problem. Low kicks. It's got first impression. We're going to protect on that. Yeah. Um. We're going to Terra Ferry here. Yeah. Yep. I, I, I assume it would kill, but I, I'd like to be safe. And the fairy defense is doing better anyway, that's fine. Yeah, and then we're gonna, um... How much did, did Sword Power do? Did 60? Alrighty. Uh, I'm just gonna gleam here, that's fine. Yep, and now we're getting lefties anyway. This is awesome. Okay, here here we go. We're gonna protect on the next first impression. It goes Skeldritch. Um, shit. What's this gonna try and do to us here? We're gonna protect first, just to see what's going on. Um, just trying to rack my mind. I haven't faced many Skeletors, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, he just clicked Wisp, I didn't think he, yeah, okay, so he just knock it out, right? He oh, lived. He just clicked Wisp, though, that's, it's so bulky. Like, is this, uno it's probably, oh, it's uno, what? I look like a freaking idiot right now. Well, thank God I clicked Stored. <laughs> anyway, um, that was silly of me, I'm sorry about that. I, I forgot about unaware. I was like, wait, this is gonna die, it's not actually that bulky, but I know it's got something, something's unaware, I'm not priority. Um, it's just still the first week of the tier, you know, we're not gaining anything from the lefties, unfortunately. Goldengo, I'm really hoping we could take out in one tier, and we do. And is this gonna be the Aspathra sweep that we've all been waiting for? It is, it is, it is, it is. Oh baby, I'm feeling good, you feeling good, let's call it alive there then. I hope you guys enjoyed this Aspathra. I'm gonna link that team. I'll link that Pokepaste down in the description. Be sure to check it out. Try this team. Uh, 
in addition guys if you want to see more you know check out my twitter live updates on just everything you know svou hope you guys enjoyed um if you could subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me you know we're trying to race to 10,000 subscribers so yeah all right peace guys have a great day happy thanksgiving bye